dogs, please. Hey, 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 hey. Rocky, come on. Hey, hey. Really come on, hey. Get over here, right now. Don't you think so? Don't you even, don't even try it. Go. The bandmates, I don't know, they should be here. But 10 o'clock in band terms means 10.30, 10.45. <laughs> We usually get here at about 10, but usually Dave gets here about 10.10 10, because he's pretty much on time, and then Jeff will be here at 10.30 or 10.45 because the drummer's always the last one here. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're waiting for the guys to show up for practice, there's a dog out there going nuts, you know. Stray dog wandering through the desert. Typical desert stuff. So me and Dave just kind of walk up to her and, Calm her down a little bit and just make friends with her because that's what that's what you do in the desert. You find other lost people, um, lost for whatever reasons, be they drugs, be they life, be they law, and uh, you find these other strays who don't belong and you bring them in because the desert is where people go when they want to disappear or they don't belong. Yeah. Poor dog. Hey, Rocky! Rocky! Stop, guys! Oh my gosh. Poor dog. Whoever's dog it is, they're cool with it being on a couch because that dog was comfy jumping up on our couch. <laughs> our dog's no better. That's my, no, that's my one rule, dude. No dogs on my couch. <laughs> Babe, you should call Animal Patrol. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? much tired. Did you listen to all those rough mixes, dude? They're, they're great, man. Are they? Yeah, it sounds really good. Really fucking... Where's the, uh, where's the computer so I can, uh... We'll do it later, man. Let's just focus on getting to work first, you know? Yeah. Rocky! Rocky! There's a thing called personal space, dude. We don't need to listen to this right now, Jeff. Let's go fucking get to work, man. Okay. Here go. So everyone has heard the term garage band. Well, us, we practice in this tough shed. It might not be perfect, and it's really small. But it keeps our neighbors happy, and we can practice loud. So this is where the magic happens. Airs on, dudes. Right now it's crunch time, and we're getting ready for Europe. So it's work, 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 with our focus on road burn. It's like down to the last minute, dude. We have guitars and basses in at the um, at the shop, like today, with yeah. like a week left to go to Europe. So. <laughs> Like I told the dude that's intonating them, that's like basically like our guitar tech guy getting it done. I'm like, hey dude, we need these done. Like we're getting on a plane on the 16th. Like this has to be done. And he's like, all right, no more than a week. Well, it's like day nine right now. <laughs> yeah. I hope he gets a. Well, he'll have them done. He'll have them done. He <laughs> There's all these weird problems with the band. Like, look at Jeff's thing, dude. Like, check this out. <laughs> That's the fucking desert right there. That's right the now. 29 Palms. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, That's... can you hit that live button? It's okay. If my symbol came in, I'm just not playing it until we fucking leave. I don't want to crack it. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, get up! Get up! Oh, God. Oh.
<laughs> you okay, Rocco? My buddy? Yeah. You okay, Jeweler? Like if I smell something? No, not, not like a whiff like you're smelling. Like you whiff it. If you swing, if you swing a bat at a ball and you miss, you whiff. Oh, that was me all the time. <laughs> Literally all the time. Up in here. Yeah. You ever accidentally got one in the butthole? Oh, I, I claimed it was an accident a few times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't say names, but there was a poor girl. She crawled up a wall with the surprise. She's going to be watching this and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> that asshole. <laughs> I knew it. I was 19 years old. That was a long time ago. I don't think she, I don't even. Oh, she, she remembers. Believe me. <laughs> I do, she probably does. <laughs>
that way. I think it was out by Amboy, yeah. That one, that B-Sides movie with Lou Diamond Phillips, that 666 movie was, was built on Amboy. Yeah, dude, I met some girl once when I was tattooing that said that Lou Diamond Phillips did the craziest shit to her while he was out here. Like, he fucking, like, had this, like, whole big sex-a-thon with her and, like, did all kinds of weird shit, like, fucking tied her up and, like, Used the gag ball, and, like fucking like totally just like punished her butthole and like just like just really violent sex with her, you know? And, like and, <laughs> Yeah, she said she met him at the inn at that night at like a fucking restaurant and he just like brutalized her butthole. You know? I was tattooing on her and she just opened up to me and I was just like, what the fuck dude? Holy shit. I don't know how much of it was true. It's all hearsay. But whatever.